back to my channel and today's video since I did not do a April and a May favorites because I was traveling a majority of those both those months not May but traveling a majority of the time I decided I'd match them together and I would do a overall travel favorites just because I was traveling and I wanted to share with you guys what worked for me in humid climates in temperate climates in super hot humid climates because it was over 90 half the time in the Philippines and then the humidity humidity was like 65 75 percent and I I was a sweating buckets so I wanted to share with you guys the things that worked for me on my vacation and these are my travel favorites I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys again for stopping by and let's get started with these favorites first and foremost I have this big bucket right here of all my favorites for this month first thing that I have in here is this eyelash container because I was on vacation for almost four weeks so four weeks of consecutive travel uh, I was always hopping around to different places and I didn't want to carry a bunch of stuff with me especially eyelashes just because if I keep them in their box it takes up so much space unnecessary space in my makeup bag so I'm really glad that I had this guy right here and it is an eyelash container I would clean and reuse the eyelashes that I was using I only brought about four sets it has slots for one two three sets but I bought four sets, I put one right up here at the top, but it didn't take up a lot of space in my makeup bag and it's super cute and easy to find. But I loved this guy, really easy and versatile to use, especially if I have like small things that I wanna put in here like earrings, just in case I didn't want them to get lost. Super easy to just throw in my bag and not worry that the eyelashes are going to get ruined anyways. These lashes, and I will make sure to get up close up of these lashes, but they're beautiful. They are the lashes that I'm wearing on my eyes today. I got these off eBay. I will make sure to link them down below. I have a link somewhere. They are called 3D Tens. They have two different layers on the lashes, so it has an upper layer and a lower layer. It gives it more volume and it seems a little bit more realistic since there's not just one layer of lashes coming out of your eyelids. So I love these guys. I do cut them down. I'll get a close up for you guys. The band is a little bit thicker, but it didn't bother me as much, especially after I cut them down. But I loved how these looked. They always turned out really great in pictures and just good lashes all around. Next thing I have, I'm gonna get all these little small things out, okay. These kind of aren't like all the way travel things, but I did use them in the Philippines and when I was in Korea. They are these Clio Gel Espresso Waterproof Pencil Gel Liners. And then I have them in two shades. I have them in number one, which is kind of a, a really pale champagne color. And then I have it in number 13, a very light pink, with a lot of glitter. Surprisingly, I am loving both of them. I'll use both of them on my lower lash line and then most of the time I'm using number one on my, my water line on my lower lash line. So I've been loving both of these things. I got them in Korea. They were so much cheaper in Korea. I feel like I should have stocked up on so many things, but I love these guys the most. I have been using them constantly. They were amazing. Next thing I have is this NYX epic liner because this is a lifesaver. Not surprisingly, I was sweating all the time, all the time, especially in the Philippines. But this eyeliner, this epic liner from NYX, it lasted through sweat and it was more amazing than I realized it was because it honestly gave me life. <laughs> I hate going places without my eyeliner and I hate even more when they smudge or they run, but this guy lasted so long on my eyes, it was really perfect no matter what weather we were going through. And this is going to be a forever staple in my bag for a while. Next thing that I was loving, it is the NYX eyebrow powder pencil and I have it in the shade ash brown and obviously I loved it because it was way longer it just it was perfect for my eyebrows and I feel like this is the this is the shade that I'm going for with my eyebrows now just because it seems a little bit more natural and less stark I do get oily around my eyebrows all everywhere let's just say that I get oily everywhere <laughs> And despite that, the Epic Liner and this eyebrow pencil held up so well in the humidity that I'm definitely gonna purchase another one of these when I'm done with this little stub. I have a highlighter right here, and this is the LA Girl Strobe Light Powder, and it is in 20 watt. 20 watt is my favorite. If you're looking at my 
highlight today. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks and I think it's beautiful. I did wet this a little down before, but it's a great highlight shade. I feel like I got a little bit darker on my trip. So it went really well with my lighter skin tone beforehand, even though I wasn't that light, let's be real. And the skin tone I came back with, cause I'm fairly darker, tanner, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm down for my tan skin. I brought with me another full highlighting palette and the only one that I constantly reached for was this shade right here. But this always looked good on my skin. Next favorite I had was the Koki Professional Translucent Powder. You don't get a lot of product in this and it is eight, five grams or 18 ounces, but it was the smallest, loose powder one that I could find and I'm really glad that I picked this up because I just got the regular translucent one and with most translucent powders I usually get a little bit of a white cast on my skin but this one does a really great job it doesn't give me like a a huge white cast but it still blends in with my foundation and helps to set everything down I only use a really light dusting of this I do not touch up with powders just because I don't like product buildup but this one was great throughout the trip and it lasted quite a while despite the fact that it exploded. Loving this powder, I'm definitely gonna get another one. I only have a couple more things. The palettes, I think you'll know which ones I used on my trip because they are essential. I brought three palettes and these are the ones that I use the most. The first is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and I have it in medium to dark. This is a new one that I bought right before the trip and they have these three shades. They have the highlight that I kind of don't use, the, this is a sculpting shade and this is a contour shade. I pretty much only touch these guys. So love this palette. This is my second one already and I feel like you know, this is pretty much the only one that I reach for because I love powder highlights. I can't say, I can't use it enough because I feel like if you look through all of my downboards, this is the only one that I use and I know I need to branch out, but whatever. Next palette that I have, I love these shadows. They are the Coastal Scents Hot Pots. And this is the palette that I made for myself. It is a mix of, these are the shades that I, obviously you would see me using, a bunch of neutrals and some pinks. I feel like with the Coastal Scents Hot Pots, you make them yourselves. Obviously I love this palette because it had such a huge mirror. This is the only mirror that I brought with me. And I had the versatility of making my own palette with 12 shades that I would I would definitely use every single day. If you guys are interested in what these are called, the names of specific hot pots that I have in this palette, I'll make sure to list them down below. If you guys are interested, make sure you check that out. These hot pots look amazing from the morning till the afternoon. Big ups to these guys and my eyeshadow primer, obviously, but I love these hot pots and I'm going to order more because it's essential in my life. Coastal Sense hot pots are beautiful. Two more things and we are done with this video. Amazing. One of them is a primer. Primer and it is I specifically went out for my flight out to go buy this primer because I knew it was the only thing that was going to last on my skin in the heat so it is the hourglass mineral veil primer this was amazing this gave my I did not expect a lot from my foundation just because of how hot it is but this really extended my foundation I bought this because I think I went out one night in Vegas with my friends and it was hot we were in clubs and it was I was sweating all over the place but when I got home later that night, around like one or two in the morning, my face looked amazing still. Beat to the heavens like nothing had happened. And that is what I want from a primer. That's what I wanted to happen. And that's why I went out specifically the day of my flight and bought this guy. So this did not let me down in the Philippines. It did not let me down in Korea. I got such great foundation, such a great base with this primer that when I run out of this, I think I'm gonna buy the big one. That thing is like $75 and I hate dropping money, but I am willing on that primer to spend as much as I need. The last thing, I, bought, I brought this because I knew that I would be walking around in the Philippines, visiting family members, going to the beach, just out and about because it's easy to get around, but you're also walking around all over the place, taking a jeepney or taking a tricycle to, to, to wherever you're going, but you're out in the sun all the time. And I knew I was gonna get darker. Don't worry, I did use SPF, so that's okay. But I knew I was gonna get darker. I didn't want to carry around four or five different foundations to make it my shade okay for my skin tone. So instead of doing that, I decided to bring two things and they are these NYX Pro Foundation Mixers and I have it in the shade Warmth. 
which is kind of like an orange and I have it in the shade olive. They don't mess with the consistency or the formulation of my foundations. They just add color. So you add a drop or two of either of them and you make it your foundation a little bit darker, a little bit warmer, whatever you need. But these were a lifesaver in the Philippines because I still wore makeup and I still wore makeup and foundation, but I got so much darker. <laughs> And mixing these was easier than me trying to go out in either of those countries trying to find a foundation that would match my skin tone just because I'm really dark. And I know it's already hard enough that you have to find a, found a darker foundation in a drugstore in America and then to find one in a country that pushes, okay, this is a little bit, that kind of pushes for lighter skin, it's harder for me to find a foundation that will match my skin tone. So having these guys and being able to mix foundations and get the shade that I needed was really amazing. So that is the end of my travel favorites. Just a couple of things that I loved, that I really honestly got to love on this trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and join the family because I would love to have you guys here. Also, if you guys are interested in seeing more of me, make sure you check out my Instagram, my Facebook. Whoa, you could. My Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Snapchat. Really, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I love seeing any of my followers on Snapchat because I want to see I want to see what you guys are doing, get like see what's going on in your lives, and I know you want to do the same for me. But I hope you guys check me out on those three social media sites. But I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching till the end of this video. And I will see you guys later. Bye.